high, so just throw your hand up high so I can see you. Um, angle's a little bit different. Uh, so, Coach, we'll uh, start off when you are ready with just an opening statement on tonight's game. First, congrats to Dave and the Pioneers. Uh, you played a heck of a game tonight. and uh, It was championship battle, and they were as stingy and tight defensively as we've seen this year. They did a great job, played a lot of winning hockey. They played like a championship team. So that being said, proud of our guys too. It was uh, not only the season they had, but the game they had tonight. I thought first period, both teams were very smart, felt each other out. And I thought second period, we did a nice job, had a great penalty kill. And then it seemed like they took momentum. We should have taken momentum after a good penalty kill, but the next few minutes, five, seven minutes or so, they seem to, to just have better legs right in that stretch, a little quicker to pucks, and they were able to capitalize on a couple. And then we made a great push in the third, had a lot of chances. Uh, their goalie played great. They got some blocks, hit a post or two. When it's a one-game series, you know, you need some breaks in there. So. Uh, our guys gave everything they had, and tonight wasn't their night. We'll start off with questions for the players. Again, just throw your hand up so I can see it. We'll go right in the middle here. Uh, Anthony Smith, Eagles Daily. For either of you, um, what's one thing that you learned at BC that you'll take forward and uh, use in the rest of your hockey career, wherever that takes you? Eamon, why don't you start with that? I think um, the the special thing about BC and um, when you when you get on campus as a freshman is um, the culture and the, and the tradition that that BC stands for. Um, obviously, I was I was here with Coach York for for two years and then Coach Brown and I think um, just the the way everyone carries themselves uh, around the locker room around campus, um, the way uh, they can talk to the team. Um, I think that's that's one of the special parts of our team. Obviously, we got a lot of talented players, a lot of players that are going to have uh, very bright futures. But um, the the people that uh, the people that leave the campus uh, are, are unbelievable. They're are they're some of the best. So um, I just can't speak highly enough of the, the culture and um, and everything uh, that the BC hockey stands for. Jack, same question. Um, well, I consider myself very lucky to have been able to spend this year with the Eagles. Um, you know, I learned a lot about both myself as a, as a person, as a player, but also what makes a, a great team succeed. Um, you know, I think that it really made me appreciate each moment um, that we had together this year. And, um, you know, I don't think I'm ever going to play in another team like this one. And, um, you know, throughout the year, it just, you know, pieces started to fall together and it was awesome to see. It was great to see, you know, some of the young guys really develop and in, into the players that they that they are today. And, you know, as a team, you know, I couldn't be prouder to be an Eagle. And, um, you know, I, I learned that you can never take a moment for granted when you're doing something that you love to do. Um, you know, we gave it everything we had right up until the end this year and didn't fall our way. but. Like I said to the guys, you know, we have a lot to be proud of, and um, you know, we laid it all on the line. That's all you can do as a team. Other questions for the players? Yeah, Jacob. Uh, we noticed that. Just all identify the, yourself. Oh, I'm Jacob Lasner, uh, WZBC Sports. Um, I, we noticed that all the players are in your class, Amen. We're uh, kind of, uh, you know, embracing that last moment on the ice uh, together for one last time. Uh, can you can you speak about what that felt like? Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, we wished it was uh, happening in a different way, um, but uh, obviously, I've been uh, at school for four years. And Colby Ambrosio and, and Gentry Schamberger were, were two of the guys that I came in with and have go, uh, built a, a tight bond over the years. And um, obviously, uh, you know, four years has gone by way too fast. And you, you, 
you start out as a freshman, maybe I wouldn't say take it for granted, but you think you have a lot of time left, and you snap your fingers, and you're a senior, and you're in the playoffs, and it's, uh, you know it could be your last game. So um, I, I just really was trying to embrace uh, that lowest last moment on the ice with them, uh, and I know I'll be friends uh, with them forever. Next. Uh, Mick Hat from the Rink Live. Jack, uh, you know, just what were some key things that, that Denver was able to do tonight, uh, you know, against you guys? And obviously, I mean, you guys are a terrific offensive team, and, you know, to, to shut you guys out is <laughs> not something uh, most teams are able to do. What did, what did they do well against you guys? Um, you know, like Coach, I think they did a good job of kind of slowing us down, especially through the neutral zone. And, um, you know, when we did get in the offensive zone, um, I felt like up until the third period, they did a good job of keeping us to the outside and keeping kind of our shots not as uh, as much of a threat as we want them to be. And then, you know, I coach that I I commend their goalie. He did a tremendous job for them, and um, you know, they have a great team. You know, they've they know how to win, and um, you know, I think that they just um, use their experience to their advantage, and um, you know. Took us too long to get going, and they su they suppressed us for that first, you know, two thirds of the game. And you know, if we could go back and, and try to change the way we started, we would. But that's not how it works. And you know, I just uh, I think they got a great team there, and um, you know, they put together a good game. Anything else for the players? All right, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Head back to the locker room. Take questions for coach. We'll start with Jess. Jess Myers from the Rink Live. Greg, you talked yesterday about sticking to your identity, playing your game. Did you do that? Did Denver force you out of that? You know, what, what did you think generally of you know, kind of playing the way you wanted to play? Yeah, I mean, we were trying. I don't think we were playing like some someone else to someone else's strengths, but Denver did a great job of getting above, uh, especially in the neutral zone. Thought, uh, you know, we're usually pretty good at breaking pucks out and having speed through the neutral zone. And they had three and four guys a lot of times above our guys right away. Um, you know, I just didn't think we generated as much speed, and that's more credit to them. And thought a few times, especially in the first, they were they were higher in the neutral zone than we thought, and we didn't uh, come back as Usually we have a couple forwards will come deep and join our D and come at them with a little more speed. We were trying to play kind of above their second layer right away, but we didn't have secondary speed uh, to fill in once we got the puck. So they were able to either stop that or if we chipped it in, we didn't have quite enough speed to get in on the four check really until the third. And then we did a better job with that, that speed away from the puck in the third. So. A little bit us not skating enough, but uh, a lot of credit for them to them to get those four guys above us. Right in the middle. Uh, Luke Evans with the Heights. Uh, obviously, you guys came up one game short, but still a historic season nonetheless. When you think of this team and this season, what are you going to think of and what's going to come to mind? Uh, the commitment that they had. Uh, the guys right from the first. Uh, that's a lot of practices starting September 1st till now. And uh, they kept pushing. You know, they, they grew as a team. We were young, very young, tons of freshmen. They grew in the first semester. And then but they started to hit stride and play really well. Then we, that loss to BU in the bean pot, like kind of hardened us. And we put, may have played a lot of good hockey after that. Uh, Right up until today, we had a pretty good streak going of finding ways to win. And then, uh, so that's what I'll think, you know, mostly the commitment that they had. They weren't satisfied. You see some young teams, you string a bunch of wins together. They start to think it's easy and start to not play as, as hard or as tight, thinking that the wins just come by magic, and they never did that. So it was rewarding to see that. and. Mostly a credit to the older guys in the locker room to keep pushing. Additional questions for Coach? 
All right, Coach, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.